Hello, hello. Welcome to Edo Language Institute. If you're new to this channel, my name is Steffi Waifo. So I run this channel. I am the teacher here. Um, for those of you that have been here for longer, also thank you for tuning in, for joining me again today. I did announce this video, right? I announced this I, on Instagram that it will be dropping um, tonight. I don't know when you're watching it now, but you know, that's how we say in Edo, uh, basically referring to the fact that you might be watching it at different times. So depending on when you are watching it, good day, good afternoon, good evening. So um, yeah, and happy Valentine's Day to you guys, to to everyone out there. I hope you're having it or you had a lovely, you had a lovely one. Um, so uh, I wanted to drop in to touch on this topic, which I've been wanting to do for a while now. Um, but it's kind of, you know, today was just perfect. So for this purpose of Valentine's Day, I said, okay, it is I love you, the phrase in Edo that I want to um, correct. So I want to revisit it because I already have a video on that, which I um, published in uh, May 2020. So, okay. Uh, without further ado, let's jump right in. Uh, yeah, before we start, I have a brief announcement though. Um, so I am launching a new set of classes. Many of you that have been here for long, uh, you know that I teach um, online as well. So I teach private classes and I teach in groups. So these are group, group classes. So maximum 10 students per class and this will be starting on may on march 15 so about a month from now um looking at uh, valentine's day which is february 14th so um to sign up and and literally you are actually just you have it's not a binding registration yet so you don't need to um no need to worry um you're basically uh registering your interests so it's a simple form that I've correct that I've created to help me organize, you know, the whole processes. Because uh, yes, for those of you that don't know, I do have a full time job outside of um, Edo Language Institute. Um, so it can be a lot sometimes for me to handle everything. So the form really um, is helpful. So I would I, I would really, um, if you are interested in this class. In joining one of the classes, there are many. Uh, there, I'm currently offering five. So, sign up there, fill out the form, and I'll get the information. And everything you need to know is there as well. So, um, yeah, um, I'll I'll also if you follow me, if you don't follow me on Instagram, do that. I'll also make some. Um, I'll give some more uh, details there. I'll also post some review from my former students that have completed my uh, my previous classes so you can see um you know also read from you know other people's experience all right and if you are not subscribed yet <laughs> go ahead and hit that subscribe button okay and, and, and activate the the notification bell all right okay okay <laughs> um so this is the phrase that i want to revisit so on May 3rd, 2020, I would, I would link that video in the description box or somewhere up here or here, <laughs> right or left. Um, so the sentence is, uh, ahue mama, right? So ahue mama, that is how you say I love you in Edo. But in my, in that video, I looked at, uh, we, 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 we touched upon, I like you, which is emewe yeme, emewe yeme. I like you, meaning your matter pleases me. And I, uh, I, I, I love you. So, and then our woman was the word for, or the phrase for love, to love somebody. However, in that video as well, I, um, I asked, or I, I was starting, um, I tried to start a dialogue. Um, dialogue, the German in my, <laughs> in my, my, my German keeps coming out. But a, a dialogue, I tried to, uh, to, to start a dialogue and I asked you guys as well because I wasn't very sure of this where. So, but the pronunciation, I knew that, but the, the root of the verb. So I was, I wanted you guys to, or uh, the viewers to give their own opinion as well. And, and some of you did leave um, your, your comment. I truly appreciate that. So I've gone back to my, uh, how do I say it? To my 
worksheet to to do my own research and uh and realize that the 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 root verb is not where which is to learn it's it's a different verb and that is what i'll be showing you um in, shortly on the next slide so our mama in that last video from may 2020 it means for one to learn the matter of somebody right and is someone's is matter or affair Oma is somebody. So one learns the matter of someone or one, one learns somebody's matter, somebody's affair. So that was what I had, I, I had assumed. But I'm telling you today that is not correct. Okay. So now the next slide, February 14th, 2022. <laughs> I don't know when you were watching this though. So um, the, the correct phrase is aho e noma, right? Aho e noma. Yes, both seem, both sound the same, you know, literally. Um, our mama, our mama, um, they sound, it's very difficult for you to, especially if you're not, a, not a, a native speaker, it's very difficult for you to, um, to differentiate, to really pick out that, that difference, you know, um, in sound. So, but, aho, so a is one, as in one does this. One, you know, so the, the, the impersonal one. And then ho is the verb here, which means to want or desire or to yearn for. And then eme is matter, affair, like I said before, oma is somebody. So to want or desire or yearn for someone's matter. Okay. That is to love somebody in Edo language. And these are the related keywords um, that you should keep in mind. So you have who, the verb that I already just described. And then um, another word that is also related to that is a noun. Aho is um, is benevolence or goodwill. Aho. Yeah. And and we have here love, the noun love in Edo. Aho e moma. So here I've already done um I've already done the 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 contraction. Right. So my students, if anyone is watching, they they know this special case where the o, oh, the o oh at the beginning of Oma goes and replace the e eh between W and N in M. So it's a special case of contraction. So whenever a word ends with N, that ends with N. Um, well, I don't want to go into that um, in this in this uh, in this short lecture you can you will learn about all that also in my class you know in my the the Edo, uh online class that i offer uh we do that in detail so the source here that i highly recommend is rebecca agayisi um agayisi's edo edo english dictionary it's available free online this dictionary is gold was published long time ago i wasn't even born yet <laughs> 1986 but it's gold okay so um and also you will notice that uh in our mama the one o is dropped it's just for pronunciation sake so but it's not an error so it's dropped um it's also the same in this dictionary so our mama is love and here um other useful phrases um, when it comes to love, iho emewe. So iho emewe, iho emewe. Yeah, you have to like pull it all together. Iho emewe, I love you. Uhu emewe, you love me. U you ho emewe me me. Uhu emewe, you love me. Now asking, do you love me? Uhu emewe ah. So. Ah, on its own, this R A, because it's a single R before a, a vowel, it's always silent in Edo language. Uwe me mea, do you love me? Literally, it means you love me or, and that is how you formulate yes or no questions in Edo language. So whenever you see ah uh, at the end of a question, you should know that uh, you can answer that question with yes or no, and it will still be a valid answer. Of course, you can elaborate if you want. But you love me. Do you love me? Yes. Or I can say, yes, I love you. Yes, you are the love of my life. <laughs> okay. Uh, moving on. I love him. 
her or it, you're going to have question about this or eh, but it's the cor correct form here. It is it is um coming for a a right. So more for pronunciation sake, it then becomes or eh, here. I go into that in detail in my class uh, as well. So um because of this m, eh, it's just the nature of this previous word, the um, preceding word impacts you know influences the pronunciation of the other word so and in some cases it it it, it leads um it occurs that the other word then has to change its pronunciation so i love him or her or it is the same word in edo language now ima we ima we ima we ima is we who you already know, enigbe, enigbe is body. So for those of you that speak pidgin English, have you heard someone say, um, they love themselves? Yeah, actually you say that in English as well. So they love themselves. So enigbe is body, but it can also be the self. So we love ourself. You know, I think some people will say in, in pidgin English, it's something like we love our body. Or oh, do you say that? Oh no, I don't think you say that. Okay, anyway, but I can speak, I speak pidgin English very fluently though. Um, so, uh, we love each other or we care about each other. So it doesn't have to be necessarily, uh, romantic, right? So not in a romantic sense, it can also be in our family. We care about each other in our family or in my group of friends. Okay. So, and yeah, we are at the end of the lecture. It's a very brief one. I wanted to quickly put this out there. And um, as always, I always ask a question at the end as well. It's a small task for you to practice what you have learned. So now my question is, and I'm purposely not putting the translation there. So now you have to task to find the translation, like to, to put that in the comment section, right? So what am I asking? And give an answer if you want <laughs> well i would like for you to give an answer so um and like i said the online so I, I do online class is starting march 15th if you're interested click that link everything you need to know the process the next step it's there and if you are not subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button but also share this video share this video give it a thumbs up it helps the algorithm for other people to discover it as well. And follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook if you're there as well. And I hope to see you next time. Enjoy your day. If you're watching this on Valentine's Day, I hope you had a lovely one. Take care. Bye-bye.